Now, basically that's what scarcity is. Everyone wants it, but there's not enough of it. Okay? So, um, that's the first part of the definition. Okay? It's where a human wants are greater than the ability of the resource to give to them. Does that make sense? So, not everyone here can buy the brand new Jordans who are coming out on a couple days from now, apparently. Okay? There's just not enough of them. So that's a scarce resource, and people want it. Okay? Tell me this. If diamonds were not valuable, people didn't want diamonds, and there was only one diamond in the whole world, okay? but people, it wasn't seen as valuable, is that a scarce resource? No. Even though there's mean. only one? There's only one in the world. Yeah. Well, people don't want it. Well, yeah. it's then, it's do, we consider, do we consider a human waste scarce, even though there is not very much of it? Even though there's a ton of it? Well, I guess. But. I think there's a lot of human waste, but to, back to the diamonds here. If, if there's only one diamond in the world, but no one wants it, is it scarce? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. there's only because there's only one? Yeah. No, it's not scarce. Probably scarce there's only one. Not but it's scarce because there's only one of them. You can't get <laughs> well, like, you look at the definition. Which one's right? Scarce. Let's look at the definition, okay? Human wants are greater than the resource. Oh. So are human wants greater than this resource? No. 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 The diamond's not scarce. There's only one in the world, but no one wants it. Wait, it's absolutely not, like, not even like one random guy? Not one random guy. Oh. Not even a guy named Aaron. Okay, with a Diet Coke and Cruise next. Alright? So, if that makes sense, you're going to do just fine with scarcity, okay? The other thing, the other part of the definition <coughs> here, is that sometimes things are scarce because there's multiple ways of using it, okay? It's used in more than just one way. So, can anyone think of a resource where it's used in more than one way? Wood. A diamond. A diamond, maybe? I heard wood. Mm -hmm. Why wood? Why lumber? Because you build houses with it. Yep. You can make fires with it. Yep. You can make uh, you know, old school wooden toys with it. Sweet. <laughs> and yeah, that's the that's thing I like. Oh, paper. Paper, okay. <laughs> All right. So, sometimes, maybe wood was not scarce if it was used in just one way, but because it's used in many different ways, okay, all of a sudden, this resource is being stretched, and now it's scarce, okay? Does that make sense? Two parts of the definition. Hopefully, hopefully you've got this word down, okay, in your vocab sheet, and you've already found a foreign language word for it, mm -hmm. and you've come up with a hint for you to remember this by, and you came up with a cool little drawing. If that's you, raise your hand if you got that done already. All right, so let's get rolling. Uh, here's a word hint for you that I came up with for scarcity. Okay, what word do you hear in scarcity? Scare. 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 What happens when you scare someone? They get scared. And some people might run away. Okay, so is there a lot of that person left? No, they <laughs> ran away. That resource is gone. You scared them. Okay, how about this? A scarecrow. What does a scarecrow do? He scares crows. Scares crows. So, what's the point of a scarecrow? To help stock live crops. What? <laughs> to make sure the crops don't get ate. Yeah, it's to scare birds from what, though? Eating your crops. Yeah, eating your crops. So, what do they want to have scarce in your field? The birds. That's what a scarecrow does. Okay? Hopefully, that remembers, helps you remember what a scarcity is. Okay? Um, can I move on? Do you at least have the definition down? No. Is that an N-O? We've got two more words coming. This PowerPoint is also <laughs> online, okay? Or you can get it from a neighbor, because we've got to keep moving. Shadow. The other two words today. Opportunity cost and allocation. All right? Yeah, opportunity cost. So, let's see. I need another volunteer. A new volunteer. Let's go. Abbas, can I use you today? For what? Uh, I just need some. What's a choice you've made today? So 
something you decided to do? Delara. To text Delara? Ooh, I want to hear from a boss. Uh, it's up to you. Did you have breakfast? No. No. Well, that's a choice, though, right? Yeah. I okay. Kind of, kind of woke up late. You woke up late? Did you ch you kind of chose to woke up or wake up late? Did you hit your sleep button a few times? Huh? Did you hit your sleep button a few times? Yeah. Okay. So that was a choice. Let's go with that. So the boss woke up late. Okay. Now he chose to wake to wake up late today. All right. That was his choice. Now, opportunity cost is this, all right? It's what he, the next best thing. What did he give up when he made that choice? That's the opportunity cost. So a boss made the choice to wake up late. What was his opportunity cost then? Not eating breakfast. Not eating breakfast, okay? Why? Ran out of time. Because he chose to wake up late. That's the opportunity cost, okay? It's, this is the dictionary version, this is my version, I like this one, maybe you don't, but you can write this one down if you want. The next best option you are willing to give up, okay? So let's say uh, <clears throat> you are at a baseball game, you're at a Twins game, okay? You take the money out of your pocket, you've got five bucks. You look up at the menu, it's five bucks for a hot dog, and it's five bucks for a pop, okay? You decide to use your five bucks and you pay for a hot dog. What's your opportunity cost? The soda. The soda, okay? It's not the money, all right? That's not what you lost there. You lost the potential gain of a soda, all right? Uh, how many of you, you ever done this before? You put coins into the vending machine before you even make your choice? And then you're like, what do I want? We got gum, and I don't want gum. We got some, uh, ooh, some powdered sugar donuts, those are good. We got the Cheetos over here. So you're like, do I want salty? Do I want sweet? Um, ooh, there's not a lot in that package. I'm, I'm pretty hungry. You know what I mean? You're, you're doing this. You're figuring out what do I want, and what am I going to give up? So let's say a boss is at the vending machine. He puts in his 75 cents, and he chooses Doritos. Okay. Well, he gave up. His opportunity cost would be what? Money. Hot tart. Not the money. Oh, like the gum. Like the gum or the pop tarts. Okay, the next best option. That's what he gave up. Okay, so that's opportunity cost. That makes sense. Yeah. All right, and then the last part. And I think I mentioned this yesterday with our scarcity desk thing. Is the term allocation. Okay, allocation. And it means this. It's how you hand things out. Okay, how you distribute them. So yesterday we only had a certain amount of desks. <laughs> And then I asked all of you, look at all of you in here. We don't have enough desks for everyone. How should we allocate, how should we decide who gets the desks? How do we distribute the desks out to people? Okay, that's allocating. Um, another example. I've got, well, now I only have 16 packages of fruit snacks, okay? And there's more than 16 people in here. How should I allocate these fruit snacks out to you guys and gals? Honorable mentions. Honorable mentions? So shout out guy gets another fruit snack? What do you mean by honorable mention then? Those who took second and third. Okay, so those other sheets. Alright, someone else have a different idea. Alex? After you grade a, our first three assignments, okay. whatever they're done, the top 16 people in the class grade wise. All right, good. So we should go by performance uh, or achievement. The top How about to most grit? The lowest to make you feel better. So a boss is looking at the emotional side of things. Okay? Good. All right, so you guys all have different ideas on how we should allocate these fruit snacks. Okay, good job. Um, I wanted us to come up with our own definition here. So there's somebody right at the top here. What's allocation? How you distribute Yeah, how you distribute stuff. Okay? How are you going to do it? How you distribute stuff? Pretty easy. Anyone come up with a hint on how you can remember what this word means? Alex has been doing a great job. I want to hear from some other people. The females have been a little quiet in there. Chrissy? All looking. What'd you draw? You draw you and then your friendships. Oh, okay, nice, nice. So 
you're talking about how are you going to allocate your time? You want to hang out with this friend and that friend and that friend, but you can't split yourself three ways. So you got to figure out how am I going to allocate myself to these people? Call it location of all. Good, good. Mine was, I looked at the word, right? And I hear location. Basically, like, how am I going to choose the location of myself, maybe, with my friends? How am I going to choose where I locate or put these fruit snacks? Okay? Where am I going to allocate stoplights in the town of Blaine so that cars don't crash into each other? All examples of allocation. Okay? Allocation. That makes sense? Yeah. yeah. All right, good. Sorry that was a lot of term stuff, but those are the, probably the big three in economics. Choice, or choice is a big concept, but scarcity, opportunity, cost, allocation. Okay? And if you get those three, you're going to be good. Shadow rolling. So, you don't have to take notes on this. We're just going to kind of do this for fun. I want to hear you all loud. So everyone contribute here, okay? Participate. Little examples here. I want you to tell me uh, if this example is showing an example of scarcity or not scarce, okay? So the first one is this. Old economics textbooks collected in a bookcase near the teacher's desk with a sign that says, Free books, take as many as you want. The books have been there for three years. Scarce or not scarce? Not scarce. Not scarce. Why? There's no demand for it. There's the word. There's no want or demand, right? The want is not there. Good. Uh, we've been sitting for a while. If you guys want to stand and just, I know that's kind of weird, but get some blood moving, that's fine. We're just going to keep going. Um, two. Old economics textbooks collected in a bookcase near the teacher's desk with a sign that says, free books, take as many as you want. Another sign posted in the hallway says, 10 bucks, paid for any recycled textbook. Bring books to the principal's office. Scarce. Why? Because there's a pain. There's a high grant for them now. Yes. People <laughs> want what? They don't want the textbook. They want the money. So, that makes that item scarce, okay? Three, one economic textbook oh, yeah. to five students who wish to do well in the economics oh, yeah. course and then and an important test in class the next day. Scarce. 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 One textbook, five oh, students yeah. who are not taking economics and they have an important test in economics the next day. Not scarce, okay? It's all about the want. Is the want there? We're going to skip down to the last one. Petroleum in Saudi Arabia, a country with many oil fields and yes, a country with many oil fields and oil reserves. Scarce. Well, because it's a worldwide product and it's wanted worldwide, so it's scarce. Hey, good, good. Last hour they struggled with this because they're like, um, it's not scarce. <coughs> We're in Saudi Arabia, okay? But think about it. The want, it's all about the want. And people around the world want oil, okay? So it probably is very scarce in Saudi Arabia, which is why they can sell it for so much money, okay? Is there another, what's the second part of the scarcity definition? It's also, it's want, but then there's a second part. A situation in which a resource has more than one. Yes, so does oil have more than one use? Yes. yes. How else do we use oil? Throw it out there. Cook. Well, that's a different time. Different kind of oil, cooking oil. Yeah. The black petroleum oil. What else do we use that for? You guys know? Okay. Huh? <coughs> Plastics. Plastics. Clothing. All sorts of shenanigans. Okay, all sorts of stuff. Okay, so that makes oil even more scarce because it's wanted in more than one area. Alright? So good job. I'm glad you got that. Um, shadow rolling. Alright. Keep going. I'm going to give you guys a little break. Want a little break? Okay, let's do this. Stand up, move around, get some water. Uh, give some people some high fives. A uh, warm hug, a compliment. Wyatt, you can uh, stop recording. Yeah, go ahead. Remember your choice from yesterday, though. Oh.